hi guys welcome back to another video and today i wanted to share with you how i made this cherry inspired pink white and glittery nail art design i only use regular nail polishes as well as a regular um, glittery nail polish and some random tools i have laying around the house you don't need much to create this handmade cherry design so if you want to know how i made this please keep on watching so first up i started off with clean nails and i do have some discoloration on my thumb and my ring finger because that is um because i use like a greenish kind of polish and it stained my nails really really bad but you want to start off with uh, clean nails as i said and then you want to go in with a good layer of base coat because you, you can see like my nails, two of my nails are really, really stained, even though I use the base coat. So always use a good amount of base coat to protect your natural nails. Then I went in on the um, pointer finger and the ring finger with a really pale, like off white kind of shade. And I applied two layers of that in total. And then for the other three nails, I'm going in with this beautiful pink polish by Essence. I really love it. I only needed one coat of this one because it is super opaque in just one layer. And of course, don't forget to cap off the edges. So you want to apply the pink to the thumb, the pinky and the middle finger. And always try to apply it as close to the cuticle as possible. But be sure not to touch the cuticle. And if you do touch the cuticle, just remove it with like um, a sharp edge of a dotting tool or with a brush and some nail polish remover. After that, I'm going in with a glitter nail polish and I'm going to apply a first like thin layer to the um, tip of the nail because I wanted to do like a glitter fade kind of design. And this is a nail polish. It is by the brand 1010. It doesn't say or ring a lot of bells to me because I bought this one in Thailand. So it isn't like an European brand. So I think it actually is an Asian brand, but I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I just bought like a ton of glittery nail polishes while I was in Thailand like a little over a year ago and yeah you just want to go on with a soft like classic deep red color and I'm using the back end of one of my nail art brushes to create two like medium sized circles to the ring finger because that is going to be like one big main cherry nail if you know what i mean and then with a smaller dotting tool i'm applying a couple of red dots to the middle finger nail and to the pointer finger as well because that is going to be just like a tinier cherry nail design if you know what i mean you'll get the point and just see what i'm doing <laughs> right here um, i'm also applying a little um or just a couple of tinier dots to the um nails where we just applied the tinier like cherry circles and here you see me adjusting the bigger ones on the ring finger because i did want to get them just a little bit bigger then i'm going to add a little bit of green to my tile and just going to like draw in or paint in the little stems of the cherries as well as some um little leaves you get the drill you know how cherries look and it really really isn't that hard to do i'm just applying that just really really gently you don't have too much polish onto your brush because then it's going to be a really fat stem and cherries don't have really thick ones but you just want to apply that to all of the tiny little cherries as well as to the um, bigger set of cherries on the ring finger and this is just a regular green nail polish by Catrice. You could also use like a green acrylic paint if you have laying, have that laying around. I do have some acrylic paints, but I haven't used them in a really long time. So I do have to check if these are still like usable, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, you can just use a regular nail art brush. You could also go with a toothpick or anything like that to draw in all of these little stems and leaves. Then I also wanted to add 
a couple of pink dots so i'm just using that same pink polish we used on three of the nails as a base color and i'm just going to apply that as well as some lighter dots to the nails so for this design you actually just need about four shades and you're good to go and you could also just if you're not into pink you could go for a blue or a yellow or just use a white base for all of the nails that's like perfectly fine as well um, i'm also using that same white base color to add a little bit of like a 3d shine effect to the cherries um, so i'm just using a really small like finely tip dotting tool for that and I'm just going on top of all of those cherries just really, really gently and really slightly. Just to add a little bit more definition to them and to make them look even cuter. And you want to do that for the bigger cherries as well. And of course, do check in between how it is looking and if it's still to your liking. I also wanted to give a little bit more definition to the leaf of like the bigger couple of cherries because I felt like it was a little bit like, nah, a little bit too flat. So I did mix up a little bit of the red and the green and just went in the middle of that little um, leaf to give it a little bit more definition. And while I'm recording this, I think it has been like three or four weeks since I had this design on my nails. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm like really, really tired. We just came home after a long weekend of celebrating our fourth year wedding anniversary. We went to Charleroi, which is like a town in Belgium, close, like a little bit more towards the French border. But we just came home today and I'm really, really tired. So if I'm a little bit like woozy or all over the place, that's because I'm really tired. But we are going to apply a little bit more glitter on those glitter fade like tip nails, if you know what I mean. Just watch and you'll see what I'm doing. Um, I did want to use a little piece of like a kitchen sponge to really like saturate the nail of glitter and i'm only adding that to the um, tip area of the nail because i didn't want a full on glitter nail just a glitter fade you could also just apply it straight from the brush but sometimes especially when you have like a clear base it might get a little bit thick and a little bit goopy and you don't want that because if you have like a really thick layer of polish on your nails it will take a really long time to dry and that's just really really not handy but after that just apply as much glitter as you want to and just check in between if it is still the way you want it to be and you can always adjust a little bit extra here you can actually see me adding a couple more of those pink and red dots on the like centerpiece <laughs> of this nail set like the accent nail with the bigger set of cherries i really wanted to give it a little bit extra and just to tie in this entire design i just added a couple more of these dots you can use different size of sizes of dotting tools but i just used one and i'm also going in with a little bit of that red just to make this design tie in perfectly all the nails have to tie in together to make it a complete set otherwise i wouldn't make just one video but i would do one nail in a video if you know what i mean if you want to see me do like one nail design tutorials do let me know in the comments down below so i can make some really cool intricate designs of just one nail you can recreate yourself and if you do recreate any of my videos or this one in particular do let me know in the comments down below because i'm really curious to see all of your designs and how you pull it off you know but to finish this design you want to uh, apply a good amount of top coat and don't forget to cap off the edges to make sure that your manicure will stay put for a very long time without chipping but yeah this was the entire design i really like the way it turned out it's really easy to do as well and you can just throw some glitter in it or 
not throw some glitter in it it is completely up to you how you want to do this but i want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in a next video